Hello, I'm your host Sean McKenzie and thank you for visiting my channel on data analytics and data transformation. I'm here to pass on some knowledge and skills in, in these subjects that I learned on my 20 plus years on data projects all across North America. And I want to empower regular people like yourself uh, with data skills that you can take that can take you further than you've ever gone before. Uh, I believe that a practical approach to data will be much more suitable for people like engineers, accountants, um, entrepreneurs, researchers, or just anyone who has to handle a lot of data in their day. Today we're going to talk about what I'm going to teach in the upcoming videos, and we're also going to learn the differences between data analytics, data science, and data transformation. You keep hearing these buzzwords, but what do they mean? You're also going to learn about the tool set, tool set you're going to need if you're really going to master this stuff. You're going to learn that it simply takes a change in perspective and how you think about when you're handling data. I want to focus on solutions that are practical, uh, meaning uh, what gives us the best results with the tools that we have. Um, I want to focus on accessible technologies, so uh, no super weird tools or installations that you have to do. I want to focus on what we have on our desktop. And I want to focus on things that make it easy uh, as possible. Um, some of the things are not easy, but uh, what makes things as easy as possible for us. Uh, and what are the easy programming or design methods that can get you started? So, as you can see, you're going to be learning concepts uh, from my perspective as a person who's been on the front lines uh, down, down, in the, down in the data of all the corporations and, and uh, institutions where I've done the work. And I've seen some pretty crazy and wonderful things. Um, if, if you're already a data analyst or scientist or experienced programmer, uh, this channel is not really for you but you're more than welcome to stay. And uh, if you pick up anything uh, that's useful, I'd love to hear it. Um, you can write your comments in, in the comment section below. My teachings are aimed at professionals who are not pro analysts and programmers, but people who want uh, an effective way and practical way uh, to learn this stuff um, and not focusing on building enterprise applications. So my take is more from the sense of what's practical, what's useful, what can you use that you already have, and what are the tools that are available, widely available and easy to access for you. So you might ask, why am I doing this? Well, I'm doing it because I love my job and I love the problem solving, the creativity, um, and the sense of satisfaction you get when things you get things right. And I love the challenge when things don't go right and you have to solve some things that are, um, you know, quite intricate and difficult and you get that satisfaction at the end after solving a very difficult problem. And most of all, I just love teaching people. So in my travels, one thing that stood out for me was that there's this big gap in, in skill sets that people have and it's everywhere from billing clerks who spend too much time or days even, hours or days working, sifting through Excel sheets to professors and researchers in, incorrectly preparing data for upload into various statistical tools. Um, pick your, insert your tool here, whatever the tool is, whether it's Power BI or SSAS or whatever, uh, there's, there's all kinds of different ones. And, you know, uh, I've seen programmers get stumped on problems that are simple techniques uh, that you will learn in the upcoming videos. Um, some of these I've seen and where I've been completely mystified as to why the gap exists in data transformation. It's like people just don't know it. They don't, they don't practice it. They don't teach it well. And so this is an opportunity for me to help you to understand how these things work. In my time, uh, developing applications for my clients and doing data analytic solutions, um, I'm often asked to train staff on how to uh, handle data and how to get the, the some of the results that we 
create together. And so this has led me to, to do th this series of videos. So the one thing that's in common among all of these sites where I develop data applications and data analytics solutions is that the staff didn't have good skills and knowledge on how to handle data. As I've mentioned in one of my blog posts, our world suffers from what I call the professional problem. And it's characterized by this. People are typically good at two things in their area of expertise. First, their area of expertise. Uh, whether you're an accountant or a researcher uh, or whatever, uh, you probably got pretty good at statistics. Uh, you're probably very good at your subject matter. Um, but the one thing that where you always fall down is, is that like a three-legged stool, often uh, things fall down is when you have to get data or transform data in, and make it into something that you can upload into your statistical package. Uh, you're constantly waiting on other people. Because you don't know how to get the data out and because you don't know how, how to process and transform the data, um, you're always waiting for other people or you're getting data sets that are not complete or they're incorrect or they have duplicates and all of this kind of stuff. And so that's the gap that we're identifying and that's what we're going to tackle in our upcoming videos. So the main focus of what we're doing is going to be to tackle um, skills in data transformation and also to look at some really awesome and cool stuff that comes out regularly uh, as enhancements in products like Power BI. And uh, we're going to teach you some really cool and amazing things that you can do with those tools to enhance your experience. I'm not really gonna talk about being an engineer or being an accountant because I'm not either of those things. Uh, so on, on the first of our three points, I'm not gonna be, ta be talking much to that, but you're gonna get lots of uh, data analysis and lots of data transformation. So what is the difference between data analytics and data science and, and data transformation? And how, how do these things all come together and why do you need to learn them? Well, data analytics is the process of taking your data and using some tool to get some interesting viewpoints or to, uh, to create some visualizations on the data. As they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. Um, think about, you know, interesting bar charts, you know, scatter diagrams, heat maps, pie charts, other cool ways of looking at data that you've probably already done before. Um, data analytics also includes the basics of statistical methods, uh, creating null and alternative hypotheses, uh, and then testing for statistical significance uh, to either support your theory or, or not. Um, if you have created some cool graphs in Excel, uh, congratulations, because uh, you have already done some basic data, data analytics. Data science extends the world of data analytics into more advanced statistical modeling, uh, forecasting, uh, deep subject area expertise, and more. Um, data scientists are more likely to be good at programming, whether that be in languages like R or Python. Um, and so uh, their, their models are much more complex and focused around, you know, things like pre predictive uh, statistics and, and forecasting and models and things like that. And so uh, data science is really exciting. It's probably the biggest and cool buzzword that's out there right now. Uh, around this kind of work, um, and I think it's also exciting. Then we get to data transformation. Data transformation is the one aspect that us mere mortals uh, need more of because it, if you put the wrong data into your statistical tool or model, you're going to get some strange results and often the wrong results, and that can be potentially embarrassing or or it can cause all kinds of problems. Um, I can't tell you how many people I've seen, uh, even data scientists, uh, who do not have these skills in data transformation. Uh, there are many definitions of data transformation, and they include things like ETL, you know, extract, transform, and load, uh, etc. But my definition is it, that data transformation is the art of getting, understanding, uh, cleaning and transforming data 
uh, into something truly usable for analytical purposes. Um, data transformation, it really is an art form. Uh, it takes a lot of practice, uh, but you can become very good at it. And when you become good at uh, data extraction and transformation, uh, these things can help to catapult you and make you even more effective than you've ever been before. And so uh, that's what makes it really exciting uh, because you can take the clean data that you've got and you can put it into the tools that you're using uh, and you're going to get to accurate results much faster than uh, anybody else and much more accurately. So as I mentioned, we're going to learn about these topics from a practical point of view. And uh, I'm excited about it and I think we're going to have a really good time. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below and click the bell so that you'll be notified whenever a new video comes online. And additionally, I would like to ask if any of you have had a hard time getting or transforming the data that you needed uh, when you knew it was available but just out of reach. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your stories and uh, let's do this in broad strokes people and not break any confidentiality rules that you may have. So to wrap things up, I'd like to thank you for watching this video and I hope that you'll watch many more. And I'm excited to start this journey with you in data analytics and data transformation. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.